Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to cover how to complete a finished carpentry or trim takeoff and estimate within the software. Let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to make sure you upload the plans and create the project that you want to work within. Once you've done that, select the page and then also make sure that you've set the scale. I can see that I've set the scale because the scale was set at 59 feet and also I can see that by the blue indication line located here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and zoom in on a room such as bedroom two that we'd like to go ahead and calculate some material for. From here, we can select our templates and then go within, for example, our base trim and select a profile that we'd like to use. For this here, let's go ahead and select the 163E. From this point, I can go ahead and fill out the information, such as, for example, for this base trim, I wanna go ahead and indicate a location. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is part of bedroom two. I can then go ahead and hit update. I can also adjust my waste percent and any cost that I like to associate with this. When I'm ready, I'll go ahead and select the save button. From here, I'm in drawing mode. Now I can go ahead and start selecting around the inside of this area. I can also go around the inside of the closet. Once I've completed this, I go ahead and hit the stop button. Next, I like to go ahead and measure the base trim around the bedroom three. So once again, we're gonna go ahead and select the same profile. We can go ahead and color code this separately or differently. Once again, let's go ahead and adjust some information. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and put in bedroom three so I can determine where this material will be located. I go ahead and hit update and I can hit save. Once again, let's measure along the inside of the closet. And now let's go ahead and go around the perimeter of the bedroom. There we go. It's just that easy. From here, I can go ahead and select the estimate to review my numbers. So for example, I can see that located here within the bedroom two, I've calculated a total of 76 linear feet of base trim Within bedroom three, I've calculated a total of 75 feet. Once again, because I entered a location field, I can also separate this data by location. And you can see, for example, once again, bedroom two and then bedroom three. And that's it. Thank you for watching today's video. 